Hi children, my name is Tal Goldsworthy. I'm a chartered engineer. My background is process engineering, combustion, flue gas cleaning. I work with incinerators and boilers and things. But I have Marfan syndrome, which means I have very long thin bones. And most importantly, I have problems with my ascending aorta coming out of my heart. When my own aortic root diameter reached 50 millimeters, which is the point where normal surgery takes place, I decided I had to do something to change my own future. First of all, we take pictures of the aorta using a completely normal CT scanner in a hospital. Then we take those pictures and we use a special computer program which converts those pictures into a computer model then we send that computer model to a special machine which turns a model in computer language into a real physical model made of a polymer. That is then used to manufacture the very light fabric device which goes in around the aorta. All the device does is to add strength to the wall of the aorta to stop it from stretching and enlarging so the aorta is completely stable and does not change size or shape. Normal surgery, they cut your aorta out, throw it in the bin and replace it with an artificial tube and usually an artificial man-made valve. And this is long surgery with a long time on a heart-lung machine and has lots and lots of problems. If you have a mechanical valve, you must take an anticoagulant for the rest of your life, typically warfarin. If you keep your own valve, it's a very long operation and there's a very, very high chance you will need an another operation later in your life. Once it worked on me, I said, OK, we can do other people. So we started doing other people. We have 54 patients uh, with a total between them of 228 post-operation patient years. I'm now at 11 years and one month and everybody is safe and everybody is well. So we have a very good track record, a very good database of success, which means we can now start using this method to treat other diseases of the aorta. They were all the hardest moments. There were so many hard moments. I don't know where I got the strength from. I think it was, maybe it was the fear of having to take anticoagulation drugs, which drove me very hard, and the result was incredibly successful. And I had all of the basic engineering ideas but I needed a surgeon, so I was able to get in contact with Tom Treasure, who became the first medical partner. Tom Treasure brought in another surgeon, John Pepper, uh, medical imaging people with MRI and CT machines. I then got involved with Imperial College to get uh, a computer-aided design engineer involved because I am a process engineer, not a CAD engineer. So it's definitely a multidisciplinary team. But I raised the money, I started the company, I put the ideas together, I ran the project, I drove the team, and I was the first person to have the treatment. I have no doubt that any number of technical problems in all sorts of fields, not just medicine, would benefit from having multidisciplinary teams looking at those problems. When you consider how quickly we produce this solution, and how little money we spent, it, the result is staggering, absolutely staggering. The absolute beauty and efficiency of the design, it makes all of the engineering that mankind has done look simple and crude and ineffective.